everyone, it's Brie. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Shimmers Paints Color Kits team. And I am working with the August Color Kit. And I'm going to quickly go through what comes in each kit. So the first one is, or the first color that we get is a Vibes. And it's a it's in Velveteen Green. And that's one of my favorite greens. It's so pretty. We also get this new color. It's called Fire and Spice. And it's like this coppery brownish color. Perfect for fall. And you'll get to see an up close uh, look at that color here shortly. The next one is a Shimmers in Antique Lace. A Shimmers is the original pots. It does have liquid already in there with tons of shimmer. All you have to do is just, when you open it, you take uh, this little sealing piece off and then you go ahead and stir up all of those uh, gorgeous shimmer bits to get everything moved around since, since it settles. Uh, but yeah, super shimmery. The second one is a Creamies in Dandelion and it's this really, really pretty yellow. And with the Creamies, you just have to add some water to it, let it sit for a few minutes and um, activate the color. And the third paint pop that we get, now this one is not the one that's actually in the kit. We actually get an Inklings in a rose by any other name and it's this really, really pretty rosy pink. Um, I did quickly show the really cute paper clip pom-poms. Here is the uh, exclusive cut file. And then the dots that I uh, had showed are, uh, the set is called Sunset Love. And so, yeah, so that was the entire kit and I'm going to go ahead and get to painting. So what I did is this is the cut file that comes in the color kit. I cut it once and then I took, while I was in my silhouette software, I took all of those inner pieces of the mandala and I offset them so that I could paint on them and they would be completely ready to back the entire cut file once everything was dried. So I went in with some dandelion. I did the fire and spice on the little circles as well as the uh, centerpiece of the mandala. And now I'm going in with the, it, it is She Packs a Punch, but that's not what comes in the August kit. Um, I got sent the wrong one by mistake, but that's okay. It's not too far off from the one that you will actually get. The one in the kit is very rosy and pink and perfect and matches so nicely. So for the final pieces of this mandala, I'm going to paint them with the antique lace and I'm going to set everything aside to dry. I do leave all the pieces on my cutting mat because uh, it helps minimize the warping. I did not add any extra gesso to my cut file. I just painted right on it and I didn't add extra water uh, so it's not super wet. So I took another piece of thick white cardstock and I went in with a velveteen green and then I'm adding the antique lace to kind of look like sand. I am documenting a summer photo so I wanted it to kind of look like a beachy scene. Now I did pull in a Jenny B blue vibes and I just added just a little bit of it. I didn't want to take away from the velveteen green but I thought it needed a little bit of blue only because the collection that I picked out had some hints of blue and I just wanted a little bit of it. So look at all that sparkle, look at that antique lace, the velveteen green, the new fire and ice um, or I'm sorry not fire and ice, fire and spice color. It, they just look great and they're so pretty and this mandala cut file was perfect to match all of the colors that come in this kit. So the design I chose when I was painting was I, w I knew that I wanted the mandala to be a main player on my uh, layout but I also wanted it to be fun and I knew that I probably would cut off a little bit of it. I wanted it situated kind of in the corner with that velveteen green and the antique lace peeking out from underneath it. Um, so that's what I did. I just kind of painted a half circle with that background. And I know it did, it did go by quickly, but I'm just kind of backtracking and, and letting you, you guys know what I did. Um, so yeah, so I just kind of did like a half circle so that mandala could sit on top of it and I would cut and trim the rest of that off. Um, so yeah, so the collection that I'm using that matched so well, so thank you to Shannon, <laughs> who is a fellow Color Kits team member. She suggested this collection because it really matched perfectly. Like if you look at that polka dot paper right there and even the explore phrase uh sticker that i have that matches the fire and spice color so nicely and um, yeah this collection was perfect so i am just going to continue embellishing these are those really cute paper clips with a little pom-pom attached to them um so i just attach that to my photo cluster and they're those paper clips are tiny and they're so cute uh, so i am going to use two of the dots that come in this month's kit and i kind of have an idea of where they're already going to go of course i add some tangled thread underneath and, and i just chose white because i didn't want to take away from my mixed media background or my 
backed cut file as well. So it's just something subtle, something there, just another little layer of texture. And I'm going to build an embellishment cluster right on top of that mandala. I didn't want to cover up too much, but I thought that centerpiece would be perfect for a little cluster. So I've, I've adhered this little um, moped scooter down. I popped it up on some foam tape. And then I'm going to tuck this dot right here underneath it along with some tangled thread and then some of these circular stickers that I pulled out from the Simple Stories Safe Travels collection. And that's it. Um, there's my background, my back to cut file. I love how this layout turned out. This color kit is gorgeous. Velveteen green is one of my favorite and that fire and spice color really matches it so well. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget if you place any shimmers paints orders now, if you get a color kit or anytime in the future, make sure you just add my name to the notes comments section of your next order. Um, and you will receive a free gift. So thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.